Happy Wednesday, Pleasant Grove. Hope you're having a great week so far. I just want to remind you of a few things and update you on where we are as a church moving forward. Uh, as a reminder, we are uh, in week two of our starting back our midweek services on Wednesday. So tonight at six, I want to encourage you to to join us if you can in person at the church. Our adults will meet in the sanctuary at six o'clock. We will be in session eight of our series that we started earlier in the year titled The Journey as we look at just kind of the basics of discipleship and understanding what we are to be doing. And so that'll be at six o'clock. The children will meet at six and they'll start in the fellowship hall as they are continuing to go through the gospel project and the youth will meet at six in the youth room. I know Garrett's excited about starting some new stuff with them on what it means to be a disciple and just some of the basics going over with them as well. So tonight at six, we've got stuff for all ages. I want to encourage you to come and be a part, get plugged in and serve. We're continuing to practice our uh, cautious procedures as far as wearing a mask and social distancing. So I want to encourage you to keep your mask on coming in and leaving. You can take it off when you're seated and um but put it on when you get up move and head back outside we are again going to stay six feet away and y'all have done a great job at doing both of those so tonight at six i want to encourage you to come and be a part if you feel comfortable and are able uh, this past sunday we started our sunday school and so that's at 9 45 and i want to encourage you to be a part of that as well if you can being at church is so important and i know that some of you are still a little uncomfortable and we totally uh, are okay with that know that we're praying for you we miss you we love you uh, we will still be having our uh, sermons available for you to watch sunday morning and uh, hope that you are continuing to plug in there if you can september as you know is our month for our state missions offering which here in arkansas it is the dixie jackson memorial offering we are going to be continuing to take up money this month for that our church goal is sixteen hundred dollars and I know that we can easily reach that. So I want to encourage you to pray for missions, pray for those that are on mission here in Arkansas and leading various mission groups, but also pray on how you can support financially to give to our church through the Dixie Jackson Memorial Offering so that we can make sure that that money gets to those who are using it for God's glory and to impact not only Arkansas, but uh, the entire world as we know that the gospel continues to spread and continues to move throughout just our borders here in Arkansas. Uh, we are in week 36 of our Bible reading plan. So far, if you're following along, you've finished out for the book of 1 Peter today. And then Thursday and Friday will be in 2 Peter chapters 1 and 2. And again, I want to strongly encourage you to follow along in our Bible reading plan. If you aren't already, just jump in right where we are. Join us. If you have another plan that you're doing, continue to be faithful in that. There's nothing as important that we can be doing as giving ourselves to God's word daily, reading and applying his scripture and his promises to us. They not only offer us hope, but we're able to use those as we saw Sunday for our benefit and for the benefit of others as we seek to be led by them, to be protected by them, and as they provide our hope and joy. So I want to encourage you to stay faithful in your reading, continue to encourage you to give. Uh, a lot of you are giving in person when you come to church. Several of you are still mailing in, and we get a few more people that are giving online each week too. And so I want to encourage you to do that. We're still moving forward. We still have mission opportunities available for us to, as a church to serve. And I want you to continue to be faithful to Pleasant Grove during this uh, continued crazy time. We don't really know what tomorrow is going to hold for us, but we know who holds it. And we trust him to lead us not only as individuals, but as a church. We love you. We miss you. We hope you're having a great week so far. Hope to see you tonight. If not, we hope that you can join us Sunday, either in person or online as we engage God's word and as we close out our sermon series on the 23rd Psalm. We love you. We hope to see you soon. Have a great week.